If you want your tape, it's on offer. £30,000. Bloody hell. What we have to show is that the girls from the Dreamworld Escort Agency are offering sex and that he is making money from it. Think you can handle this? I can act here. I live for this job. It's never out of my head, ever. I'm not in a position to afford this very often. I want to help you, but there's not a lot I can do, is there? You change the sheets down the noggin shop as well. What is it going to cost to get to know you? I'm a police officer and I work in the vice squad. I can be a good friend to you. This is all wrong, man. Right, I want that tape. <laughs> You're having a laugh, ain't you? I told you, I want a taster up front. So how do I know you've got a tape? Tell me what's on it. Well, it's that old geezer, in it? Buller. He's about 50. He's having it with these two tarts. They're on the bed. They're groping, snogging. Where'd it come from? I uh, through the flat. Tranter Street. It's a knocking shop, innit? They were taping themselves through a two-way mirror. You burgled the place? Well, yeah. I followed them in there. All right. Good. There's your taster. Next time we meet, you get the balance, I get the tape. We pull the chain and you vanish out of my client's life forever. To the dog. My Mr. Plod could see me now. Hey? I've got this new regular, and he turns out to be a policeman. <laughs> oh, well, that happens. No, but this one's vice. Is that right? Poor lamb. I think he's falling for me. <laughs> well, you won't get many presents on a policeman's wage, but it could be worth your while. <laughs> It's one thing getting complaints from tarts, pimps and curb crawlers. That's a sign that Vice is doing its job. I was doing my job, sir. Really? Well, an investigative journalist and a church charity, for Christ's sake, seem to have a different idea. Wingrove isn't a journalist. He's a private You're running detective. around trying to protect prostitutes from the legal consequences of their actions, which puts you in a very dodgy position indeed. That could be up shit creek, Amy. Well, because of me. They're making it look like I'm running errands for you girls. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to have to ask you to help me. It's going to mean sticking your neck out. Pat, I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean, you don't know? I know I was there when you were in trouble. Yeah, you were. You want? Wingrove. He's threatened you before. I want you to wind him up to do it again. Yet the operation's in hand, Mr. Loach. Well, you wouldn't expect me to say anything else, would you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll keep. I'll keep you informed of any developments. Yeah. Any news on the agency? No, I'm afraid not. Well, give them time. Plenty of other things we could be doing. I think a result on this would be appreciated all round, actually, Pat. Yeah, we'll get them a result, Joe. Look, the Waldens are drug squad priority, right? Mine is to keep the complaints off my back. Okay? Sure. The reality of the situation is that a man's wife can be besieged by snoopers in her own home. His children taunted in their own school playground. This is how we reward public service. That's why I support any legislation, any legislation that will protect the individual from the cynical attention of the mass media. Time to call this. <laughs> Thought you weren't coming. I said I'd be here. I'm a businesswoman. My words, my bond. Yeah, but uh, I mean, this ain't business, is it? No. So what do you want to do? We could, I don't know. We can we can go see a film, or we can have a drink, or dinner, or into clubs. I think we should probably talk. Okay. Yeah, talking. Yeah. Okay, that way. Or that way. That way. Thanks for coming. You want a drink? Vodka and orange, please. She's a good girl, Amy. If anyone can do the business, she can. I'd say we were doing the business for her. If a girl's being harassed on my ground, it needs to be investigated. You got a problem with that? No, I've got a problem with priorities, Pat. We're supposed to be working for the drug squad, or had you forgotten? But well, we can walk and chew gum at the same time, can we not? Tell me, so, how'd you get into this business? I read an article in The Guardian about how much money there was in escort work. I brought in a lot of graduates. So what, were you in a, a real dead-end job then? Mm-hmm. Trainee merchant banker. Really? I kept being propositioned by wankers in suits and thought I'd have more self-respect if I charged for it. And is, uh, is that how it's worked out? Yeah. I run my own life. I have everything I want. Clothes, car, travel. Look, I, I'd, I'd better say now so there's no misunderstanding. I'm not looking to be, um, rescued. No. No, I mean, I understand that. I mean, I like what you do. Does that make me sound like a real perv? <sighs> I don't know what perv is. Well, maybe I do. What is it? Extra. You're doing the right thing, Billy. Come on. I don't know. I haven't said I'm doing anything yet. All right. You tell me what you want me to say to make you close the deal. Well, you say I can have all this money 
if I pack up my business, move out of London and leave the country? Yeah, just for a while. A couple of months, that's all. So who wants this so badly? I've told you, I'm not authorised to discuss any of that. Well, I'm sorry, but in my line of work, you always have to know the kind of people that you're dealing with, darling. Don't call me that slapper. There's no more to be said then, is there? You'll regret this. Let's go. Your troubles have just begun. We should understand. I want to let this run. Maybe. They've left the pub. I've lost contact. I'll try the plaza. Listen. If you piss about, you'll get hurt. How many times have you seen the headline, prostitute found dead? Hardly registers with most people. It goes with the territory. It could be you, Amy. I can see to it. Gerald, pull him in. We've got it. <coughs> Please! Hold it! Come here! Come here! Arm out! What's the problem, officer? ta -da. This is it. What do you think? Yeah, I'll take your coat. Um, I'm, I'll just uh, get the uh, washing up. Um, uh, you know what I mean. I'm gonna get somewhere better, bigger. I'm gonna move up a bit. You know, it's just a place to crash in. It's all right. I didn't come for the interior decorations. Well, good. Cause I haven't got any. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna suck that maid. <laughs> do you um? Do, do you want to? Sorry, I'm really. Do you want a drink? I've got coffee, or I've got scotch, or or. Scotch. Later. Okay. I'm investigating a serious arrestable offence. I have further inquiries to make and I want the prisoner held overnight. Anything to say? Well, I ought to get bail. I oppose bail on the grounds that the accused may interfere with witnesses. Oh, come on. Put him away. Can you stay the night? <sighs> I drive you home in the morning. The only thing is it's going to have to be really early. Oh, in that case, I'll get a cab. I'm really not an early morning girl. You're not? <clears throat> I don't even know where you live. Well, it's all a bit complicated. I'm staying at a friend's at the moment, but I'll be getting somewhere on my own really soon. My life's changing in loads of ways. I'm giving up freelancing. I'm going to sign up with an agency. Why? It's more secure. They're in a better position to vet the clients. So which agency are you going to go to? I don't know yet. Dream World sound OK. Friends of mine work there. Nah. I'd give them a miss if I was you. Why? Oh, no reason, you know. You, you hear things, you know. What? Nothing. But it's, it's confidential, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not free to speak about it. Doggy, I, I know Dreamworld are all right. The girls have got no complaints. Just leave it. Um, just leave it, you know, for my sake. Forget about it. Are you investigating them? You are, aren't you? Why does the Vice want to bust an agency? The escort business doesn't give you any problems. Change the subject. No. Please. It's not vice, it's drugs. I just forget about this. 
We never had this conversation, right? I'm just looking out for the both of us. I really appreciate it, Dad. I still have someone looking after me after all these years. You asked to see me? Nigel Wingrove. We served together at Bow Street. I remember. Hi, this is Christina. Please leave a message for me or Alec after the two. There you are, Chapel. Just looking for you. So, Wingrove. Next job, you know. Yeah, I'm not. It was on my relief when I was an inspector at Bow Street. Uh huh. Trained to be cautious. What exactly, sir? He wanted to know if I could do anything for him. Sir, as you know, I am not on the square. Now, I will go... I will go ballistic if I think someone is interfering with my case. Well, of course. I hope you're not suggesting I was encouraging him. No, sir. He's bricking it. I've softened enough a treat for you. He wants to talk to you off the record. Well, thank you. Just doing my job. Just remember, you owe me one. If I talk to you off the record... Depends what you see. All right. One of Amy's punters, a regular, got a blackmail demand. Somebody's made a tape of him having a threesome with Amy and one of her colleagues. He called me in to negotiate. He was willing to pay? If it got him off the hook. But he thought he'd been set up by Amy. That's why he did the flat. Mm. I didn't find anything. I don't think she had anything to do with it. A scrub came in through the window and had the tape away. But he still wanted Amy Lent on. Well, he didn't want her giving her side all over the tabloids. All right. Names? The punter. You didn't hear this from me. Simon Buller? Lord Buller, since the last honours list. The other guy? Calls himself Richie. I don't know any more than that. But you know how to contact him. He calls me up to arrange meetings. So, can we uh, speak to the custody sergeant, Mr. Chapel? I mean, what more can I say? Yes! Crack tip. Dream will want to see me tomorrow. Well done. Now we're getting somewhere. Wingrove's out on bail. He's coming across with information. He's putting out signs that he's ready to do more. Cheryl's just had word back from Dreamworld. The Waldens want to see her tomorrow. Right, good. Right. Dougie, you and me, we're off to inquiries. Right. Hang about, Pat. Uh, are you going to be here to brief Cheryl? I mean, this meeting she's got tomorrow is pretty important, don't you think? I mean, it's make or break for the whole operation. Uh, look, I don't know, Joe. Look, if I'm not back, would you do this? Well, you know what to do. Come on. Yes. Within reason, Raquel. Ignore them. You're quite safe with me. It's all right, darling. I'm fireproof in that department.
going to put a name to you, Amy. Simon Buller. Did that come from Wingrove? Well, let's just call it information received. It's Buller that wants you closed down. Why? Because a man's got a videotape of him in here. He's being blackmailed. Well, that's nothing to do with me. He knows that. But he still wants you closed down. Oh, oh what a bastard. I am totally discreet. Now, I'm going to talk to Buller. Good. Because I really put the wind up him. But if you and I do a deal with Wingrove, I can get Buller to address his behaviour. Well, Nigel, I hope you appreciate what's being done for you. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Chappell's gone out of his way for you, Nigel, so don't let him down. The question is, where do we go from here? Have you spoken to Amy? Amy's prepared to drop the charges, if I can tell her you're cooperating. All right, then. How high do you want me to jump? Hi, Cheryl Bevan. Sorry about the delay, Cheryl. Oh, no problem. Come on through. Thanks. Now, you haven't been in this line of work before. No, but I really meant what I said in the application. I enjoy men's company. I like to talk to people about their lives, their work, that kind of thing. And do you understand just how this business operates? Well, it would be helpful if you could talk me through it. Yeah, sure. Take a seat. We make introductions, Cheryl. We carry information about the girls registered with us, and clients can access us by phone or through our website. You'd have to supply photographs, of course. What kind of photographs? Let's look at Chantal. It's portraits, you see, Cheryl, professionally shot. And there's a link to Chantal's own homepage. Chantal runs that herself. She's very enterprising, that one. So are you saying I'd have to provide pictures like that? It's your choice entirely, dear. Anyway, they're only glamour shots. They're nothing pervy. So the client hears my description or sees a photo and says he wants to see me. And if you're available, we tell you and you take it from there. So I go and see him and then what? <laughs> you collect the fee, darling. Yeah, but what happens after that? Whatever you and the gentleman agree, love, we're out of the picture. Look, I know this is going to sound really thick. No, 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 not at all. Ask whatever you want. But does the man... Well, do they expect... Well... Sex? As I say, love, we just make the contact. The rest 
is up to you. You should read Chantelle's homepage if you need ideas. She's wild, that one. This is Trisha, my wife and business partner. Trisha, meet Cheryl. Hi. Hi. Um, what exactly are you suggesting? Oh, we never suggest anything, love. It's Liberty Hall here. Folks just do what they like. Yeah, right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Tonight? Yeah. I was thinking when you got off work. Well, um, it'll be late. Never mind if it's late. I really, really need to see you, Pat. Um, I'll call you back. They were taking the piss. They knew I was undercover. Did you show out at all? Did a buggery, sir! They knew they were targeted. They were just winding me up working from a script. This operation sprung a leak. What exactly are you suggesting? Oh, we never suggest anything, love. It's Liberty Hall here. Folks just do what they like. Yeah, right. Well, thank you. See? No evidence. Well, if the Waldens are wise to us and the leak did come from this unit, then it's a very serious matter indeed. I'll be speaking to you all privately. But before that, I want each of us to examine our professional and private contacts during the period of this operation. Can I have a word with you in private, please? Sure. Bit of a signal, eh? Yeah. Too right. If this unit gets investigated, Pat, it's going to come out that you're over the side with Christina. And like I was trying to tell you before, that makes you vulnerable. Does it, hell? You know Christina's straight. Of course she's straight, Pat, but uh, that ain't the point, is it? Well, you also know that I'm professional enough not to talk about the job with civilians. In or out of bed. In the normal way of things. What does that mean? You've had your eye off the ball on this investigation, Pat. You've been given the blackmail priority. Yeah, well, brothels are more our line of business, yeah, aren't they? Well, maybe that's true, but we took the drugs job on, Pat. And if we're managing effectively, we should be able to keep all our balls in the air. And in the end, that's down to you. And your head's been elsewhere. Do you really mean this? Wouldn't say if I didn't mean it, Pat. Sorry, mate. cell phone you have called is unobtainable. Yes, the operation has been compromised. Yes, I'm aware that Drug Squad has put in a lot of time and effort. Well, if the leak has come from this office, you'll have my sincere apologies. Mr... Hold the lever. Yes. Yes, I'll be in touch just as soon as I know anything. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Loach. He's enjoying every minute of this. I've, uh, I've listed all my contacts. I mean, I had no reason to reveal the operation to, to, to any of them. I well, think he just wants us to screw up. These are professional contacts. What about private? Well, it's non-existent these days. I mean, my idea of a wild night out is to take away pizza and a bit of soft porn. I 
That's a joke, I'm sorry. Well, the leak didn't have to come from this office. Could have been any one of those bent CID bastards. Yeah. When a girl gets out of line, a working girl, I mean. Yeah? Well, ponces can get really vicious, can't they? You know, make them do what they want. Yeah, sure. Some guys would have a girl disfigured or dead rather than have her walk away. Why? Oh, it's, it's just some girls got off the scene I'm a bit anxious about. Who? You don't know. I'll make some inquiries. It's probably just a load of bollocks. Come in. Right. Show us what you got. Show us the dosh. Right then. Win some, lose some. Please. Dougie, Joe. Come out. Oh. No. I mean, it's coming down. There was a good case there for leaving that to back up. I know. It was spur of the moment. As it was, you were okay. But you were better than okay. You're pretty damn good. You should be aware, my lord, that uh, Nigel Wingrove has been arrested for assault and for threatening to kill. The victim is Amy Hicks. Am I being accused of something? If so, I really feel I should have legal representation. It's entirely your choice, my lord, but um, at this stage we're um, just trying to uh, establish the facts with your help. If there is any uh, criminal charge against you, I will, of course, caution you as to your rights. Now, the information that we have is that Nigel Wingrove has been acting on your behalf when dealing with Amy Hicks and with a man attempting blackmail. Is that right? Did Wingrove tell you that? Could you answer the question, please? We're both men of the world, Inspector Chapel. I was being subject to a blackmail demand. I asked Wingrove to handle the matter for me. If Wingrove acted outside the law, that was without my sanction. I wasn't even aware of it. Right, my lord. Let me tell you what's happened since then. I've arrested your blackmailer. I didn't want that. I guess that. What about the, um, the evidence? Ma'am. Mm. 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 Will this come up in... in court? Blackmailer's gonna stand trial. But it may be possible to proceed in a way which means you don't have to give evidence and that your name 
need not be made public. Really? If the accused pleads guilty. And I believe he'll do that if I drop a couple of other charges against him. I seem to be in your hands. Well, you'd really be in the hands of Amy Hicks. And I would imagine that her attitude depends on whether she receives any more harassment, legal or otherwise. Well, of course I am entirely sympathetic to the question that's being raised, but now that the use of the flat for immoral purposes has been brought to the attention of the landlord, uh, they think the church will turn a blind eye. No. But, um, you could point out that, uh, my unit is aware of immoral purposes being pursued at a very large number of addresses owned by the church commissioners and other august public bodies. And you might suggest to the charity that if they consider the implications prayerfully, they might decide that the whole question would benefit from benign neglect. I think I can negotiate that. And then you, and the girls, and the church, can all go back to business as usual. Uh, it just goes to show you what you can get away with. If you're a lord, He rang, Alec, rang from the Alps and asked me to join him. Things have changed, Pat. I'm sorry. But when we met, I, I genuinely thought that my marriage was more or less over. Go on. But when he rang, he was so spontaneous that I just naturally responded. And you fell in love all over again? No, not exactly. But we did talk. We talked about what we both wanted, what we both needed. Now, Pat, Pat, he's my husband. I married him. I've got to at least try. I don't know, you know, maybe even have children. Well, thank you for sharing that with me, Christina. I don't feel ready to leave you, Pat. I want you to be part of my life still. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm. Don't ask me to be the godfather, will you? It'll only bring disgrace to the office. Looking for pussy? I can 
can introduce you to a nice, clean girl. Forget Long legs, big tits. You can have friends without full service. Come here! What do you want to be nicked? Do you? Then piss off! I need to talk to you. We don't take personal callers, chum. Ring the number, we'll sort you out on the phone. Look, I want to talk to you about Emma. We do our business on the phone. Good night. I don't know what your problem is, but you're not coming any further! Trish, call the police! I am the police. Emma! Where is she? What do you want? Emma, what are you done with her? I don't know what you're talking don't about. Don't bullshit me, you slag! Now you had her on drugs and now she's gone missing. Now what are you done with her? Hey! Emma! Get out of my way. Put that away. We need to talk. Where's Emma? She's in Paris. I'll get her to ring you. You screwed that kid's head up with coke. No, no. She got her habit at Oxford. Yeah? Well, you made her stitch me up. Emma came to us. I'm gonna have you. And I'm gonna have that bitch. Would you like me to ring your office? Show him the security tapes. That wouldn't look very good, would it, Dougie? I think we can settle this with Dougie over a drink, Trish. What if I... What if I paid for the damage? No, I don't even think about it. I'll have it off the insurance. You know, I could do with a friend on the vice squad, Dougie. I'm not your friend. Don't you see? There's a lot we can do for one another. You've got the taste, mate. You can't feed that habit on your salary. You don't understand. We had something there, Emma. Look. If you need to see Emma again, she'll be there for you. On the other hand, there's new girls coming in all the time. We all aim to please, Ducky. See, once you understand that everything's for sale, Ducky, there's no limit to the good times you can have. I wanted you to know right away. My complaints against you have been dropped. Well, that's good, sir. The complainants recognised that you were following a legitimate line of inquiry. I think my quiet diplomacy won them over. Well done, sir, if I may say so. It's part of the job. It's an important point when I'm pitching for funds to be able to show that the vice unit is above reproach. Wonders. Well, it's only part of the job. <laughs> we got a letter from the property managers this morning. Notice withdrawn. <laughs> I feel like writing to the commissioner. D no, no, no. No, he'd be much happier not knowing. <gasps> oh, but seriously, Pat, when you get a service like this, you don't begrudge paying taxes. <laughs> when have you ever paid a penny of income tax in your life? Oh, but there's VAT. I am not hearing this. The thing is, Pat, we owe you one. And there is something that you ought to know. What? Your boy Dougie, who came here the other day. I saw him at a club the other night with a girl I knew, a working girl. Now, I'm the last person to want to spoil anybody's fun, but he needs to watch his back. She calls herself Emma. Now, it was Bianca when she worked here with us. 
I gave her the push for trying to rip us all off. Now, I'm telling you this for his sake as well as yours. He seemed a nice lad. And if he mixes up with someone like that, he might find himself in trouble. This, um... This Emma, does she uh, work on her own or what? She was doing escort work independently, and now she's signed up with Dreamworld. Well, thanks for that, girls. I'm going to have to run. You were right, Joe. Took my eye off the ball. It's the girl. <sighs> Definite. Oh, no. She's given him some money. <sighs> oh, no. No, no, no. What if I talk to him? Give him a chance. You ever fail to do the right thing, Joe? Plenty of times. It looks bad, boss. Cut the bullshit, Dougie. Now we are going to clean the slate. You know the drill. I'm really sorry I let you down. I'm really sorry. This is not as bad as it looks. It's crazy, isn't it? I thought... I thought I could square things up on my own. I thought I would play along for Walden, yeah? And I'll, and I'll make him think that I'm up for the bun. And then that way I could get the evidence. Don't stick to this story, Dougie. Makes you look like a really sad bastard. <laughs> what am I gonna do? You're gonna tell the truth. You might win back some of your self-respect. Mm. <laughs> Is all yours.